would you be able to break down necessary and assumption more of a layman terms? I get it and I can explain it, but I don't think it's I get it enough or understand enough on an intuitive level. Okay, so on a more intuitive level, I think about them like a very specific kind of must be true question where they're not really giving you new information. A person who believes in the stimulus and is logically committed to it automatically is committed to believing all underlying necessary assumptions. So if there was an argument saying God created the world, then it must be the case that there is or was a God at some point. That is a necessary underlying assumption, incredibly moderate, not new information. Okay. And so that's why the negation test works, just as the negation test would also work on a must be true question, although I wouldn't bother using it there. Yeah. The reason it is more useful for necessary assumptions is because it could be an unstated premise of the argument where it wasn't directly cited in the stimulus, but the person speaking would be logically committed to that statement as well. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.